You, the members who work for this government, this employer, deserve a fair contract. We've been waiting far too long. His dad was very was sort of Mr. Union in Dundee. He was very involved in. I think he was the head of the trades, trades the trade labor council in Dundee, and uh, without a doubt, yeah, his father was a big influence on him. His father would have been so proud. I know when he first came to Toronto, and he started work, um, they uh, they said they thought that he'd make a good shop steward, and that's actually how he started. Eight months of negotiations, ten weeks of strike. You're still standing strong, firm together to say to the corporation, we want justice and we want it now. What I like about John is that he's very straightforward and uh, he, he is what he says he is. C'est un homme qui a, un, qui a du caractère, c'est un écossais alors que c'est une tête dure d'écossais. Euh, C'est un homme passionné, euh, d'où son grand côté humain. John's a fairly quiet person in his own way, but when it comes to protecting workers, there's nothing quiet about him, I assure you. <laughs> Sister and brothers, we've been strong throughout this strike. We've been strong throughout the whole process of negotiations. C'est quelqu'un qui, qui, qui a un grand cœur, je pense. Puis, euh, ça... Je pense que sa fidélité aux, aux travailleurs et travailleuses, à la classe ouvrière, est, 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 un, point, est un point fort. Parce que quand c'est quelqu'un qui parle, c'est quelqu'un qui parle toujours avec émotion. He's intense when it comes to pursuing the rights of workers. And uh, he does that with vigor, with conviction, with strength. Trip by four trade union leaders to Colombia, including John, and John went to visit Afro-Colombians in the hills of Medellin. Uh, that had a profound impact on John. Uh, many of these uh, families displaced by Canadian mining companies. So uh, the work we did together with the postal workers, uh, NUPG, PSAC and QP on the free trade agreement with Colombia was amongst the best examples of public sector unions working together. Quiero aprovechar para enviar un saludo muy especial de gratitud y reconocimiento a nuestro compañero y hermano John Gordo, quien siempre estuvo dispuesto a brindarnos la solidaridad y el apoyo que necesitamos los trabajadores colombianos, nuestras organizaciones sindicales para afrontar los difíciles retos que desde nuestro país vivimos en el día a día. La réputation de l'Alliance dans la communauté au sein du Canada et internationalement, parce qu'on fait beaucoup à l'extérieur aussi, avec peu de fonds, puis-je dire, le fonds de justice sociale, je pense que c'est quelque chose, là, que ça fait partie de l'héritage euh, qu'il laisse aussi. Uh, John's very involved with, you know, the regular member. It's very important to him. Uh, one such example is he took the opportunity uh, when he was first elected as president of the PSAC to come north, and uh, he headed north to 60 and spent a week on the road with myself uh, visiting several of the smaller communities in the Northwest Territories. Um, not just at union meetings. He went and he said he felt it was necessary to go right into the work environment. So uh, I had that opportunity to go right two work sites with, with John and uh, visit members. That was very, very important to him. On equity issues and social issues, he was always very conscious, you know, the need for change, the need to bring people more uh, engaged into the union and to ensure that they actually feel that they had a role to play. On a travaillé beaucoup sur plusieurs dossiers uh, uh, autochtones, que ce soit les personnes de couleur, personnes ayant un handicap. On a toujours touché tous les thèmes Et euh, il a toujours donné la place à tout le monde de pouvoir s'exprimer et euh, pouvoir, chaque conférence, entre autres, de donner sa place. Fait que ça là-dessus et que le monde puisse connaître davantage les enjeux et les barrières que les groupes d'équité euh, normalement peuvent faire face, soit en milieu de travail ou euh, dans la société. The lower skilled workers, the cleaners that was in the public works at the time, immediately mm -hmm. uh, here in Ottawa got involved with a literacy program so that they could upgrade their skills and become uh, better skilled workers. While he was component president, the, the, uh, the first 
workforce adjustment provisions were introduced into the collective agreements. And that was as a result of a public works was laying off uh, a large group of cleaners that used to do uh, clean public buildings. And uh, when John encountered that, he and the component combined to uh, essentially do some wildcat strikes and uh, take over some workplaces and forced the employer into putting together a package that would be available for people who were in that sort of a situation. Mm -hmm. And that's really where workforce adjustment within the public service, anyway, came from. We need a boss who respects the workers, not a Tory government and Harper cronies who do not respect the workers, they respect the corporations, and they want to give your jobs away to those corporations. Les premiers temps, euh, en fait, la première journée, je pense, euh, qui, qui, qui s'est présentée au bureau comme vice-président exécutif national, la première chose qu'il m'a dit, Louise, je suis toujours disponible quand Marie-Hélène appelle. You know, behind every uh, successful man is a a very surprised wife. I was never surprised at uh, when he was successful. I'm extremely proud of what he's done. Like the weight of the world, the weight of the union, the weight of having worked, and worrying about all that stuff is, is going to disappear and it should just lighten up his life. Take good care, enjoy every minute of it, and thanks very much for your leadership. Vraiment, John, you have been a support important for nous autres travailleurs et travailleuses, votre concours pendant toutes ces années vraiment nous a marqué et c'est l'occasion de vous dire un grand grand merci pour cette contribution. Mostly I want to thank you for your friendship and what and wish you a long, healthy and very very happy retirement. All the best, brother. Même à la retraite, même dans une fois euh, retiré un peu on, on reste toujours présent. Je pense que ce que je lui souhaite, c'est de rester présent, puis d'avoir une bonne santé, puis de rester présent dans les luttes. Là.